Oh, it's a, it's strange. It's a bitterly cold morning. I've traveled back from South Australia into Victoria um, for a couple of days to visit my favorite Victorian lake. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking for one of my favorite trees. So we just gotta have a little look, see if we can find it. Maybe when the sun comes up, I can remember where my tree is. Uh, but in the meantime, let's just uh, let's just find a composition uh, that we like. So yes, I've managed to bring uh, another. Oops. Another piece of equipment with me. I'm just going to immediately uh, focus on those trees. Good, cover that for a second. We're in manual. I'm going to put it up to F16, eight minutes. That looks great. And as I switch all the lights off, including you. So eight minutes, F16. Um, my favorite lake, uh, which is Taylor Lake or Lake Taylor. We've got a nice little red glow on the horizon. I don't think we'll get a sunrise. The, the cloud is a bit too thick by the looks of it, but we are going to get that bit of a glow, um, which will capture in this scene, um, landscape orientation. Yeah. Uh, isn't it fantastic to be out regardless of the weather, just being out and about. I'm just hoping that I don't mind the cloud. I don't mind the wind if there is, but but the thing that is most difficult to work with is rain. I'm not sure whether it's still raining. It is. It is still raining. Uh, thankfully, it's coming from behind us, I think. So I'm hoping uh, that it will not affect the front of this uh, um, uh, lens. just through the fike, th through the, through the cap, I'm focusing, pre-focusing on that tree. And I know that from experience, eight minutes is gonna be too much. So I'm gonna pop it down to two minutes. That should do us. I think I have to move slightly to the right. Yep, slightly to the back. Let's give it two minutes. And Rafi is having a great time in the sand. Muddy sand, I have to say, he's absolutely filthy. Whoops, here's the rain. Gotta move quick. There's the rain. <coughs> Not sure how I'm going to be able to shield the side of this. So, I'm hoping I can shield most of it. 
The worst thing about long exposure is uh, there's water spots. We have that's done. Straight away. Let's pop ah, filter on. Let's check. slightly that looks okay let's make sure our tripod's solid first of all before I move anything let's make sure we get it nice and level I have a great little ball head uh, that does that little tripod head uh, I'm probably gonna need a couple of filters that's really starting to brighten up as you can see, let's move as quickly as we can. We still don't want to fall foul of that rain. I think most of it's cleared. I think uh, 1.2 should do us. There we go, give us eight seconds. I'm just gonna hit that for the eight seconds as a test. I think I'll throw the three stop on and give it 30 seconds. Eight seconds, that's very nice. That's very nice. Yep, yeah, no, I like that, I like that a lot. I'm just gonna throw this on for the 30, but I don't think I need it. I'll, I'll do the comparison with you. I'll put them both up, but uh, I like the eight second shot. There's still some beautiful orangey yellow colors coming through out there that you can just about make out. So, so 30 seconds. Nicely done, beautiful. Okay, so first things first, let's level our tripod. That was the first thing to do. And secondly, let's make sure we focus clearly. I'm keeping the horizon right bang in the middle here. And strangely enough, this is saying I can go for a full minute. Um, I'll give it a go. We can always shorten that exposure if necessary. I thought we'd be still around 30 seconds. Um, but you can see how quickly that light just disappeared. Um, that twilight glow. Uh, so that was 40 
to 45 minutes before sunrise. Um, it was glowing a nice, uh, almost almost browny orange. It was a very pretty colour. Like that's perfectly well exposed. And we have nailed the focus and it's got a nice purpley tone to it. And we've captured those reflections well. I'm going to um, throw this on also to landscape orientation so I think it will benefit from a little bit of extra space flip our filters and making sure that with the polarizer so I'm moving the polarizer and I'm making sure that we don't have this vignette, you can see the sky really darkening where the blue is darkening. So yeah. Just moving it round so that the vignetting's off. So that's not too bad. Um, it's saying 60 seconds, we can still, we can still manage 60 seconds. Um, so let's, uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just hit that. There's less cloud, more blue sky now. So the movement is a, is a little less. Well, it's a beautiful morning. What do you think? Um, I am more rushed than I ever thought I would be coming back here. I still haven't found my favourite tree, um, which is which I believe from memory is off to the right. I will go and find it. I will definitely find it. And uh, I might not be able to photograph it, uh, be depending on the light, but I think we'll go there after this one and see what we can do if we can find it and then take a photograph even if it's a snapshot i need to i need to i need to say hello there we go five seconds four seconds so a minute and it has still got this nice bluey purpley tone to it i'm just going to check the exposure that is perfect nothing blown out Second, just check your focus. This is important. There we go, yeah, that tree is spot on. Really nice. Looks like a nice stump out there. Maybe we'll come back and take a test shot of that. We found her. There she is. My favourite little tree. So, I'll get in, get low, and just take a shot. I think I need just the right height uh, and position. I'm gonna have to position not as low as I want it to go uh, because I want a head, well, I say a head, um, to be above the far horizon. And maybe I'll sketch it out and show how, how nuts my brain works when I say head. Uh, but I see that there's a face on this tree looking to the right. Let's see if we've done this right. See if we've got this right. 
Let's get our filters on. Putting two on because that's... The sky is significantly brighter. So that's 30 seconds. look after this little fella because he's in my composition so we're just going to throw a stone for him keep him entertained so let me tell you about this composition um, I have uh, the rock coming in from the right hand um, corner uh, which sort of brings you your eye in towards the middle of the scene and then I have the main component of these three trees um, the camera's placed so there's a degree of separation between all three, so none of those branches are overlapping. And then the arc of this one here, this Y-shaped one, which is almost in the centre, sort of sits over and um, arches over and, and frames uh, the smaller trees in the background. And we also have this second piece of rock coming in that sort of holds that side and balances that against this larger tree. Uh, we've got the um, six stop on and I've got uh, two ND grads, 1.2 and a 0.9 and it's just to tame that top of that sky a little bit, um, that blue sky. We're just making sure that there's no horrible vignetting which you can get with polarizers. There we go and so that's set, all done. We're waiting for that light, so while we're waiting for that light to come, the sun's just gone behind a cloud. We'll take a shot. Okay, so that, that sun has come out for the last 20 seconds. Normally I'd run around and shield it from the front of the glass, so it's caught me by surprise. So that's exactly what I will do and use my shadow just to shield the front of that glass so and now i can't see how long's left but shouldn't be too much longer there we go i can hear it stop so that's that shot so let's check see how we've done and then i'm going to take one more that's nice that baby blue and i'm going to do one more and i'll stand around this side Shield a glass from shadows, and there we go. I didn't hear it start, didn't. There we go. Two minutes standing here precariously. <laughs> um, and that's just to get that warm glow and that light on the side of those trees just to give it a bit of definition, a bit of depth.
packing up and I'm just about to go where I want to thank you and everyone else who's uh, joined us on this little adventure. Um, it's, I say it every time, but it's, a, it's, a, it's just to be out. It's a wonderful morning, wonderful morning's photography. We had to battle some rain, um, very fine, but rain and a pain in the backside all the same. Um, we got here early enough to get that twilight colour, which was the only real colour of the morning. So I was here an hour before sunrise and just happened to catch that um, orangey, russety glow. I'm actually quite pleased with this little shot, just to show you that you, um, that waiting for that light and uh, making sure that you, you cover your, um, your, your uh, filter array while you're doing so. This, the, this light is coming in from the side. It would have played havoc with that image. Um, can make a difference on the depth and on the, on the texture of whatever you're photographing. So uh, wherever you are, um, thank you for joining me. Um, if it's your first time here and you like what you see, then consider um, subscribing. It helps a lot. Thank you very much. For everyone who has subscribed, uh, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Thank you. Thank you for choosing. Um, to come along with me and Rafi and uh, we've had a fantastic time so wherever you are um, please look after yourself and your loved ones and uh, so yeah take care bye